So I have a bit of a confession. I have been avoiding Microsoft Power Toys for like a year and a half because of a misunderstanding and some immaturity on my part. So I had kind of viewed Power Toys as a potential competitor to Tablet Pro. And I thought, well, I don't really want to know, kind of buried my head in the sand when it came to a little ostrich style. And I uh, realized recently that this is a really cool free tool. I watched a video by uh, Layla uh, Garani, this one right here in the background. Windows. It is called Power Toys, but don't be fooled by the name. It's a set of professional... Hi, Layla. So what I learned is that it's not in any way a competitor to Tablet Pro and uh, it's actually a really, really cool uh, mix between the two. So I'm going to show that off right now. We're going to close the window here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this button right here on the Slim Artist Pad. So that's going to hide our desktop. Okay, so over here, I'm going to show you what these are. Always on top. If you're familiar with Power Toys, these names will mean something. If not, watch the video uh, that I have up that Layla's doing right now. She goes a very nice overview. She's very eloquent and a wonderful teacher. So watch that video. I'll put the link in the description. So here we have, uh, this is how you edit the Slim Artist Pad. You just pick a button right over here. You pick and then edit what it does, and so we cancel. Okay, so right here we have always on top, color picker, the clipboard for Windows. This is where you have all of the last things that you copied to clipboard, including images. Use this, this is really useful. All right, so let's close that. Then we have fancy zones, which is where you can place different things in customized uh, windows or zones. Uh, this one, uh, mouse highlighter, when you click, it puts a little circle. You can uh, customize that. Power Toys Run, this is neat. So let's do Notepad. It opens up Notepad. And now let's use Always on Top. Now this is Always on Top. So if I open up OneNote, you can see this is going to stay on top of OneNote uh, until I uncheck Always on Top. Really useful. Okay, screen ruler. If you're doing UI work or trying to figure out the width of something, it's pixel dimensions, this is really useful. Here you can see, I can actually see the exact pixel dimensions of something on the screen. And this actually works with uh, actually designed elements. So here, if I click on this vertical one, you can see here in OneNote, it's actually measuring based off of UI elements. This is really very cool. Okay, so let's close that and disable that. Okay, and then I have Cortana and the touch keyboard here. This button right here expands this out to a larger window. And a even larger one that includes modifiers. Okay, let's undo always on top. And then right here, text extractor. This is show or hide the desktop. Uh, undo. Here is task switcher, so we can switch between windows. Uh, we have transparency, which is really useful. So here, if we select, looks like we have that pinned always on top. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make OneNote transparent. You can see through it to the notepad. This is especially useful, like if we have this video. Okay, so let's say we have this video that we're watching with Layla. And uh, we're going to go into OneNote. Now let's say we want to watch the video and do notes in OneNote at the same time. So we're going to press the transparency, translucency tab. And when we press play, super handy tools for everyday use. So we can write here, super handy tools. And you can see that we can make notes while we're going through. Like it's, it's all free. 
you can see that we can we can watch content and take notes very very easily using this transparency tool uh, transparency is part of the pen tool this is a combination of tablet pro tools and the power tools power toys tools so <laughs> Okay, we have escape key, and then right here is text expansion. This is with Keypress OSD. If you're not using text expansion yet, you should be. It will save you a ton of time. So up here at the top, you put in a little tiny shorthand. Uh, so let's say I want, um, I've been having some problems with my email. So I have this abbreviation right here, period late, and it's going to replace out here. But let's go ahead and actually open up the one that I made already. Dot late. This has an input box in it. So you, then you have whatever you write here and I have input box written here again. Let's close this and we're going to type the word late. Period late and hit space. Then we're going to say Tina because that's who we're writing to. And you notice it says hi Tina and then includes this and then right where we have input box again it says the word Tina again so I'll use this for text expansion for emojis so I'll do SML GRN uh, FWN and these expand into ones that I'm used to using on a regular basis and then the last one in the power toys is this spotlight and this is actually going to follow around your mouse pointer so if you're doing a presentation you want to make it really easy for people to see where you're clicking this is a great way to do that when you click it disappears that's just a double click of the control key super easy to use so this combination is a lovely blend of the functionality inside of tablet pro that suite of tools and then the suite of tools with power toys if you take a little bit of time right now and invest in your processes, things will move along quicker. You'll have more free time and everything is more rewarding when you feel like you're doing it well and you're doing it with skill. All right, what questions do you have about Power Toys? If you haven't watched that video by Layla, I highly recommend it. She is a fantastic teacher. If you have questions, put it in the comment section. I'll look forward to reading those. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.